Good evening, CLC. My name is Naomi Feta. Thank you so much for joining me here um, this evening. So uh, this evening, my topic is just spending time with the Lord in terms of um, having a quiet time, maybe having a habit. And as we're at the beginning of the year still, we're still in January, um, I am reminded that it is a time when many people are thinking about forming new habits and how to keep them in the Christian life. Um, sometimes they are called spiritual disciplines. But um, as I think about a quiet time or spending time with the Lord, which um, often looks like getting up early in the day and taking time for prayer and worship and a time of really setting aside and focusing on um, building up your relationship with with the Father so that you can grow and you can have that time of fellowship with Him. And um, the reason for for taking the time and purposing in your heart to do that really is um, not as as a form of religion of as a f form a checklist of i have to do this but when you love someone you want to spend time with them and if if jesus if the father is um truly our first love it will be a, a joy to to run to him first thing in the morning and just say say daddy i love you i want to spend time with you i want to hear what you have for me today and if our relationship with him is really more shaped in uh, that context rather than a context of um, a checklist of something that you know you're a good christian if you do this today and you're a bad christian if you don't uh it, it's becomes focused more on relationship when we say i'm doing this because i love him and i want a relationship with him who maybe if you've ever been in a relationship with someone um, whether it's a spouse or a boyfriend or a girlfriend um you want to spend time with that person and you will do what it takes to make that happen because you love them and i think so much more so in in our relationship with God is that we want to keep that at the forefront of who we are and what we do in our everyday life um, is build this into a habit and every day I will see God because I love him because I, I want to hear from him and there are days when we fail and not even fail but in terms of maybe we won't have as sweet a time with him as we we might at other times and yet that's no rather than feeling guilty or uh, condemned for the times that aren't um, as focused as others or the, t the times that we aren't able to have a quiet time with him um, we should just always be encouraged to just keep pressing in and keep working at building that habit so that uh, our, you know our minds it says um, take your thought captive and then also in, in Romans 12 to um, present your bodies as a living sacrifice and these things in terms of um, we're taking control of our, our reactions to run into maybe our day full speed or to-do list or checklist um whatever it might be that you're doing first thing in the morning but really turning our attention to god and setting those things aside and uh, sacrificing some of those so that we can draw close to him and even in um luke 5 verse 16 it says but jesus often withdrew to the wilderness for prayer or and another verse says he, he went for solitude and he went because he hungered after fellowship with his father and so if you're to have a quiet time in the morning or 
at any point in the day, really, it, it might be out of the hunger of your own heart that I am doing this because I'm hungry. I'm hungry to know him. I'm, I crave fellowship with God. I, I crave time with him. And so if you haven't um, in the past had a regular time with him every day, I just encourage you to um, start setting, setting aside that time as a goal, um, as a habit. You know, start small, but make that habit become part of your everyday life uh, because you are hungry. You want to know him. You want to grow and see what he has for you and just to enjoy the fellowship that he offers um the peace that you know when we go to him in that secret place and that that quiet time um some of the rewards are just the peace that he fills us with the peace that he gives the strength that he gives for the day and um those are just just gifts that we're receiving when we are in um in that quiet place with him so as always may god bless you and i look forward to seeing you again on sunday and trust that you are all staying well during these times